Hey guys, it is me Liv, and today I'm going to show you how to animate your Roblox character by using Blender. So, you firstly want to open up your Roblox Studio. When you, when you have opened up your Roblox Studio, make sure that you are logged into your account. So as you can see, it says logged in as it's your girl Liv. If it's not logged in, this won't work. So make sure you make sure you you know your password to your your account that you're using. The next step is to open up your base plate. Okay, so when you have opened up your base plate, you you're going to make sure that you're on home, which you are normally on when you start. Make sure that you also have your explorer and properties on where you can which you can find in view. Now that you have your Explorer and Properties open, you're going to press play. Don't press anything like play here or run, just press play, which goes into F5. When you come into your base plan and you, and you are playing, you should load in with your character, which you are using at the moment. Okay, so now, now that you have your skin, you, you want to go to Model, ter Terrain, Test, and when you're on test, you want to stop and press pause. After you have pressed pause, head over and click this little arrow right here and open it up and you should see something that says player one. And your skin should be highlighted in blue lighting and your head should be highlighted too. When you have pressed on your character and you have a blue lining around your avatar, you want to press the the, the the arrow that should be highlighted blue and that will lead you to all of your your body parts and and everything that you're wearing at the moment now now this is very important you want to make sure that you're still pressing player one and you want to head down to torso you want to shift that and everything should should be highlighted all the body colors pants shirt shirt graphic health humanoid and so on now this is also a very important step over here in your explorer you want to right click your mouse or whatever you're using and it, and this should pop up when this is popped up you want to press ungroup and then you want to right click again and press group so that now it is a model when you have done that you want to right click this Right, well, right click model, sorry, and then you want to press rename. Now, when you have, when you have press rename, you just want to backspace it all and you want to put your name as space and then enter. Now, this is another very important part that you should know. Now, now that you're, now that this is a model, you want to right click this will right click your your player and you want to press copy after you has, have pressed copy press stop and head over to workspace and you want to right click anywhere in workspace and you want to press paste into and your skin should have loaded in like so when your skin loads in it should look something like this and as you can see we have all of these green parts on your on the body as as you can see all around and i'm going to show you right now how to get rid of them so you want to press your player which should be in your workspace and you want to go down and head um down to torso and right click this actually just click it click that and you should see all these body attachments and you want to press the top one and press the bottom one and at the bottom one you want to press shift and these should all pop up and you should delete all of them and some of them should be gone. Now, if some of them aren't gone, you want to click on them and then you want to click this again and you want to backspace it. Well, backspace it again. And then you want to click it again and you want to backspace it. Like so. It should. Or you can just press delete and it should be gone. For the face one, you might want to click it again just to get rid of it. And it might not go away, so you might have to do delete again. Even though you've got rid of the front ones, you might just want to check at the back if all of them are gone. And yes, in fact, they are. So make sure that your skin has no more green parts. Well, there 
should be some in your head, but when but we're not gonna do that because those should remain inside your advertisement. Now that you have done that, you want to close up everything and you want to right click your player and and this should pop up. And after that's popped up, you want to press export selection. And you want to put it in desktop and I've already done some. I'm just going to name this model hashtag one. You can name it whatever you want. And after that saves, you want to head over and open up your blender. When your blender is open, it should look something like this. So, after you've opened up blender, you want to just right click anywhere and this, and that should have gone away. Now, you want to click on that again and on this cube that you see and press X on your keyboard. And something like this, which is OK, you want to delete it because we don't need that. Okay, so after you've done that, you want to head over to the top left corner and you want to press File, Import, Wavefont OBJ. And you want to, um, well, this should appear and you want to press wherever you saved it. I'm going to go to Desktop because that's where I saved it. And I called it my model hashtag 1. And you want to press not MTL, you want to press OBJ and your skin should appear. Okay, so to move around, I would recommend doing Shift F, and you can just move around normally with your W, A, S, D. So this is W, this is S, no, sorry, this is A, this is S, this is D. And here is your skin that you saved. So this is an easier way to do than the other way, which is the Roblox asset downloader because that doesn't exactly work for me. So I'm going to show you what to do now. Okay, so now that you have this, you want to head down to this little thing down here next to object mode. You want to press it and something up called material, which is the second one down, should should appear. You must press that and all the colors will come back. But it's not that right. And also, if you want to move back, just move it back to make it a bit lighter, but not too much lighter. Okay, so before you do anything else, to, to move around again, just press Shift F. And over here in the corner, you want to, before anything else, you want to press Shading, which is right here, okay? It's under Sampled Motion. And, uh, and, and, under, and under Shading is Performance. So press Shading. And over here, it should say 5. You want to press Transparent, because when you finish the rendering, you press Rend and... Um, and if you don't do it, the background is not transparent. So, now that you've done this, you want to head over to this little thing right here. And three things should appear down here. You, you want to press all th three of them. So that it's a lot lighter than, than it was before. Because before it was not light. So, today I'm actually going to show you how to do quite a simple look on your character. I'm going to show you how to put one arm up. And in the next video, I'm actually going to have to put up different positions because I'm actually new to this. So we're going to put up one arm, which is this left, sorry, right arm. After this, you want to press edit mode and something like this should appear on your arm. Now, right now, we're going to show, right now, I'm going to show you how to edit and make it look um, animated. So I'm just going to press shift F and move a bit forward. You're going to press subdivide. Then remove doubles. So subdivide once, then remove doubles once. After you've done that, you're, you're just going to <clears throat> use your controls. And sometimes it won't work. And sometimes this happens. And this can annoy me a lot. So I'm just going to undo all of that. And I'm going to show you what to do now. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're just going to go and press undo once. And then you are going to start editing again. So, you, um, so now you're going to just press all of these and you're actually going to flip this up like this. And you press this one right here and it should look something like this, which doesn't look most ordinary for a Roblox character. Okay, so now you go, so I, as we know, we press this to make this happen. Now we're going to press the one on the left side next to it. And you're going to press the right, the 
it's the right one that leads it up and you're going to press the left one which is red that leads you across to make it look a bit ordinary and now after you've done that you're going to go back to edit which is down here edit mode and you're going to press object mode and it should look something like this now I've and now I've actually decided to show you how to do something else with the other arm. So we're not just going to do one arm. We're also going to do this arm. With, now with this arm, you don't have to really do much, but it's like sort of the same as the other. One. But we're going to press edit mode, and then after this, you're going to press subdivide once and remove doubles. After you've done that, you want to right click on your mouse, and your um this should turn black and unfortunately it's not working for me at the moment actually now it's worked okay so after you've done this you're going to press control and, and then also you're going to press re left click and you can highlight whatever part of the body you want to highlight so so, so for this move you're, you're just going to highlight the first bottom half of the front of your um skin so head over and press shift f and you should be moving to here in the position where you can see what you're doing. Okay, so now that you've done that, you're going to press the one next to it, which is this, and then you're also going to press the the red one, which which makes it go backwards. And then you're going to keep on moving it forward and backwards, like so. So when you think this is good, you finish and you press object mode, which is right here. Okay, so after you've done this, when you're ready to make your camera, you're going to go down to here next to this. You're going to go to view and you're going to go to cameras and you're going to go to aqua camera and this should appear. Okay, so now we're going to position the camera by pressing shift F and moving around like so. And if you want to move a bit faster, just press shift. And make sure that the whole body is in the camera, like this. And then you press left, actually, yeah, left click to have your camera, to have your mouse back. Now, we are going to rend the, rend the character, not animate, not audio. We're going to rend the character. And it should look something like this. So as you can see, the background is transparent and the character is is not bad and it, it just it just looks nice and thick and i like it and i hope you guys like it as well I so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope this video helped you to animate your characters and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye Okay, so I just forgot to say one more important thing. If you want to save your image, you want to go down to image and you want to press it and you want to press save image as. And you want to save it in like wherever you want to save it and name it whatever you want to name it. Um, I'm going to name it um, me. So yeah, so that's how you save your image. And make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below what other videos you want me to do. And thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!